welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 98. Round of applause, please. Oh, thank you. I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the You Should Know Podcast, episode 98. If you are new here, if you don't know, you look below, you see the subscribe button, pressed. You're wrong. If you look even more below that, you see that comment section isn't fulfilled with your name. Guess what? Even more wrong. Go ahead and fill that out. Get your good karma. Hey, for the people that don't skip the intros, I want to tell you something right now. Now we have a secret code. The secret code is 2W. You know why? So if, I'll tell you why in a second. But for all the intro watchers and listeners, you are my favorite people. So right now, I want to pick out who that is. In the comment section right now, put in 2Y. It should have been two two W because I meant to say two weeks, but now it's our secret. We are two weeks away from episode one hundred of the You Should Know podcast. Round of applause for that. Yep, 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 yep. Two weeks away from episode one hundred, the biggest, the most important, the most special episode of You Should Know podcast history the biggest surprise in you should know podcast history is happening on episode 100 we have so many cool things planned after episode 100 the you should know podcast is never going to be the same after episode 100 so in two weeks be prepared for that but we have some very special things other than episode 100 coming up we are going to tampa florida in a about a week or so right february 17th we're in tampa florida i think there's like literally like 11 tickets left so if you want to come to tampa florida click the link in the description right now get your tickets and then we're going home to austin texas where the you should know podcast was birthed out of my little out of out of my little urethra the you should know podcast was born in austin texas let's celebrate that march 1st the hometown show be sure to add us on facebook link in the description add us on patreon link in the description we love you so 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 much to why for all the intro listeners, we love you. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast. Ooh, we got co-host Callum Wynn back in the studio. <laughs> that burp was for all of you that tell me I burped too much. You're disgusting, by the way. Oh, We're just going to start cooking with hot grease. <laughs> you have a, a warm coffee drink and an ice-cold white monster, and I see you cycle through hits. Okay, I, I can like, <laughs> Coffee, hot, boiling, nasty mouth, and you go, oh, let's wash it down with Arctic Freeze Snow Cone Taurine Monster. <laughs> I can explain myself. I have a science and a rhythm to everything. Oh, my God. The only, <laughs> why? The only thing I'm missing just is a drink. The only thing I'm missing is a water. If I had a water, I don't want your... That water has been sitting by a window for about three and a half months. You're drinking plastic. I, I, I would be willing to argue it's been longer than three months. <laughs> okay, but can I explain to you what I do? It's not going to make sense, but humor me. So the coffee is to warm up the warm up the palate before I, I speak you. for I three hate, hours straight. I hate you. I warm up the palate. You know what I mean? I warm up the palate in the throat. It's good. I put extra espresso in here. Your palate is burnt already. There's no more warm, warming it up. But then I like the taste of this, and it cools me down, and it gives me like a spike. Coffee is more like a steady incline of, of energy. This is like a spike. This is like, like if a quick I, loop. Have you ever sat on a thumbtack? Never, actually. I do that. So I have sometimes. You, you've sat on thumbtacks. In high school, a lot. For pleasure or pain? Or accident? <laughs> it was accident. It was accident all the time. But I'm just saying, I was in a, I was in a yearbook class, right? And we, I was responsible for... Po- <laughs> no, you weren't. You, you weren't a, I was a journalist. Dude. Oh my god! I was in your book. I would go around and pull kids out of the class and interview them. Interview them? No, you didn't! I hated those kids! <laughs> Why? I'd be in the middle of like problem seven and someone knocks on my door and like, Hey, can we get Cameron Kennedy for a quick interview? Oh, God forbid, my name's Cameron Kennedy. I'm the most popular kid in school. No, no paparazzi. Shot. I hate it whenever you're doing your job. It's like, catch me in the passing period. Oh, that's not my- Don't remove- Oh, oh, oh! Don't remove me from my <laughs> education. What? My ears are ringing. <laughs> You're a nerd, first of all. Second of all, a <laughs> 4.05 semester street. <clears throat> we have the same job. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> no, but I can't get you in the passing period. Why? Because guess what? 
that's my passing period too. I'm not, I'm clocked out of journalism class. I'm not a journalist all seven periods of the day. Your journalist coach <laughs> should understand that. Oh, that's one thing. Your book definitely didn't think it was a class. They thought it was half sport, half, half job. It's a lifestyle. Yeah. They, oh my God. That's the, a lifestyle. Yeah. How do you think we're going to get the news out? Okay. Answer me this. Why does it take eight months to make the book? Because it's a full year book. It's not the first semester book, dumbass. Give me three months. I have the yearbook, same quality. And I just, as as the year goes on, you put stuff in there. Are you being ignorant right now or you're being for real? I'm being for real. Okay, the design. <laughs> you're going to piss me off. The design of the, oh, I'm talking to a sweet spot. Yeah, I the had design, it on my letterman. The, just no, you didn't. <laughs> There's like a pin. You're, you're like a division one prospect. And you're like, I really want to take my talents to journalism school, to uh, full sail university. I'm going, mom, this is what we've been waiting. No. No, if you gave me three and a half months. Okay. I understand the uh, yearbook has the whole year. Okay, what about the spring so spring sports? Sports, not sports. Okay, what about spring, spring theater? Spring, listen. What I about would, prom? Listen, you listen with your, your ears. I almost said oh hoes. So that's your eyes, right? I had tubes in my ears as a kid. They put, they you were the tubes. worst kid ever. You were the worst kid ever. You're the worst kid ever. You had tubes in your ears, long Troy Polamalu hair, tail, suspenders. Yeah. You dressed as James Naismith. It was all different time periods. Don't act like it was the same year I did that. That was all in about maybe two years. I know, tubes whenever I came out you of the placenta. 46, 46 silly bands on your left hand. I had I'm super saying you had what? Super, super yeah, it's super skinny jeans. I had a skateboard, didn't know how to use it. <laughs> Truck fit. Oh my god! What? Oh my god! What? That's the kid you were. Yeah. You had the skull candy earbuds instead of the Apple ones, just so you could be different. That was you. That's all we could afford. That's no, 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 no. The Apple ones came with the phone back then. I didn't have the iPhone. I didn't get an iPhone. Oh my God, you had a razor. Oh my God, you had a razor. I had the flip. You had a, ra a razor. Like what you call hits on and like sell a rotary phone. A rotary phone. <laughs> so yeah, yo, with that. A rotary phone, <laughs> dude. You, you could have been the greatest criminal if you wanted to be. You had so, you had so many eggs and so many baskets. Okay, you were cool with everyone. So wait, in middle school you had an iPhone? No, I didn't get my first phone until I was seventeen. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm kidding. oh my god, you're no. a prisoner. <laughs> I, I had the brick Nokia. Yeah, it was, it was about the size of half a graham cracker. Yeah, didn't fold, didn't scoop, none of that. Yeah. Then I got the slide, John. I never then got, I got the, the slide. iPhone. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I skipped the face. I made the worst mistake ever. What happened? I bought one of those Google Android phones simply Ooh. because the Beats logo was on the back and I thought that means it came with all the music in the world. <laughs> I, literally, I literally thought that. I literally thought I had a free subscription to any tune I wanted to listen you to. You got so disappointed when you I got it. The app store was asshole and the music sounded horrid. And I said, get rid Dude, of it. Dude, my, my, my brother and my mom found my old iPhone. That's why I read the, uh, the, oh my God, the things the off of. And they sent me pictures of my messages with Angel Ty. Angel Ty? Yeah, that was my friend. Yeah, and she was a good hooper and a great friend. Hmm. But I, since, oh, you, you hijacked the beginning of the episode. Because I had something that I've been, it's been eating me alive for the past week that I haven't been able to say to you in person, but I've been waiting for the podcast. I, I, why, I, I, why did, I just started sweating. I called out Guac for it. What? Guac. Our, my friend Guac. Like, what are these friends? You, you know angels? You, you know Guac. Guac you know Guac well. You call this person guac. Guac! Yes, okay, guac. 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 Yes. Guac. I don't... I guac. called I called guac out for this. Okay. And I'm going to call you out. Okay. And I might call you out, too. Okay. I'm calling all my friends out because y'all are all fake. Okay. Why did no one tell me that I got fat in my face? <laughs> what? Why did nobody say that to me? You didn't get fat. Yes, I did. You got fat. Look at him. Look at him. He knows it. He knows it. Yes! You didn't get fat. Yes, I did no, in my you face. Did. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. You have facial hair. That's all it is. No, it's my cheeks. Yes, it's right here. I got fat. <laughs> See, Ryan, what the hell? Fat. Fat. Wait, are you fat? Don't touch me. <laughs> yes, I'm getting fat in my face. And First no one off, called no, me out. Not. There's nothing wrong with it. It's not, I'm not saying there's nothing wrong, but it's something that happened. But like, how do you get fat just in your cheekbone? I, I don't move my ass a little bit, too. <laughs> well, that's yeah. tiger stress. Tiger stress. And I think it's because I, I my, my diet, to be honest. But doesn't that like... No, I got a little thick here too. No, you I got didn't. a little fupa. Sh <laughs> what? I got a little fupa. What, you want to give that acronym? <laughs> no. Exactly. Google it if you want. Exactly. No, I got fat in my face. So Wait, this is look at me. Wait. No, shut up. No, look at me. <laughs> don't laugh. Don't laugh. No, you can't tell when I'm like this. You can, but watch me smile. <laughs> watch me smile. Watch me smile. You can barely see my eyes anymore. No, do it again. Dude, remember how chiseled I used to be? You used to be very chiseled. What happened? It's called 
life. No, okay, and that's messed up. Okay, look. I Bro, was, you're not fat. Shut up. <laughs> I was going through TikTok, right? And my whole for you page is us. <laughs> it's like the hundred different accounts. Shout Literally, out to y'all. But I was going through, and I, I was looked at like a, a podcast like three months ago, and I was like, I look good in that. And then I was like, and you go to last, and place? then I was like, I don't look like that anymore. What's different? I was like, is it my beard? Is it my? And then it was like, and then I was like, I've gotten fat in my face. And then so I kept it inside for about. I've been thinking about this for like a month. I was like, I kept it inside and I needed somebody to call me out. I don't think it would be my loved ones and my friends. It wasn't. It was the comment section. Somebody in the comments. Someone in the comments. It was the last comment. It's like, is it me or does Peyton face get fat? That's y'all's fault. Okay, that's why I literally it stings yelled. More. No, no, I don't give a shit. I get called me no, things I'm all saying, day. No, I'm saying it stings more because it didn't come from me. Because it didn't come because y'all are supposed to be the ones that hold me down. I didn't realize it. You're, I give you a little leeway and you a little leeway, leeway because you y'all see me every day. Exactly. So it's hard. You know how to hard tell. it is to yeah. tell. Yeah. But I told and Guac. I told Guac about this too. I I was uh, I told her I was like, why didn't you tell me my face got fat? She was like, it's not fat. And I was like, you haven't noticed a change in my face? And she was like, well, when I was leaving. You did smile and from an area. I was like, I just said, thought you were getting more full, more full. full. That's a nice way of saying your face fat. What if what if she went to <laughs> playing with it, bro? No, you're not. No, I am. Don't listen to him. No, no, I'm listening to myself. Like, no, I it's caught fact. it. I caught I've it. Seen it. Yeah, I need to see the the video you're referring. Just to. go back to like episode like sixty. What if I went back and it was literally like a different? It person? is. It is. No. I, I got my face it got fat. It can't. And be that all bad. I'm saying is, I'm disappointed in both of y'all. Because y'all are supposed to be my bestest friends, and we're supposed to y'all aren't supposed to hold anything back from me. If I would have known, I would have tell you. Y'all are crazy. Just like you tell me all the time that I'm. That you're what? Oh, your nipples are nasty. No. no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Oh. I, was looking, I was looking down here. Oh, okay. Now that we're talking about this, I have a genuine question for you. It's gonna be a test. What physical feature about me makes you the most uncomfortable? Penis. <laughs> Yard rope. Right. I'm keeping all that in. That's fine. <laughs> all right. Ask Genuinely, again. what physical feature? <laughs> what physical feature about me makes you the most like when you look at it on my body? You're like, uh, you get you I, have two, I have two things. Okay. Honest to God answers. Honest to God. Lower back and rib cage. <laughs> it's one of the two. <laughs> Lower back, rib cage, and a close bronze medalist. Like they barely made the podium behind the knees. That's it. What's wrong about Or your feet. Oh my no, God, I have your gross feet. feet. I have no, gross your feet. feet. But yeah, they're always covered. Yeah. You're, you always have socks yeah. on. So, Wait, what is about, so my lower back. What's wrong with my lower back? Unbelievably hairy, unbelievably skinny. <laughs> my lower back is not hairy. You either just shaved it. You shaved it! He shaved it! God, there's dimples! There's dimples! <laughs> okay, so then it, it'd be ribs. What's it, wrong with my ribs? Now that, now that the taco beef is gone from your lower back, it's your ribs. What's wrong with my ribs? Uh, when I look at it, I if I had to if I look if my last sight yeah. in life was your rib cage for the rest of my life I would always think you breathe like <laughs> that's how I, that's how I'd imagine. <laughs> <coughs> you. Okay, there's nothing wrong with it. Did you ask that just to roast me? No. It sounds like you're about to come after me. <laughs> there's two parts. One of them I was gonna defend myself, then come after you. Okay. The defending myself is the last girl I talked to. She always used to like strum my lower back hair, and it made me feel so at home. <laughs> <laughs> she strummed, dude. She was playing G flat on your lower back here. Yeah, that I, is, she deserves hell. I felt so at home. So yeah, at the cat and home. safe. That's love. No, that is that is sacrifice. Give that me your lower the, back. No. Give me your lower back. No. I'll strum you. Let me strum you. Come here. Give me that. Oh my way. God, bro. Yo. If, if I didn't know you, if, if the only first sight I, I had of you was your lower back, I would think your, your name is Beatrice and you serve nuggets at the local elementary. So I have a lunch lady back. You have a lunch lady back. I have a lunch lady back. Yeah. That's it. The You Should Know Podcast.
This episode is brought to you by our friends at Tushy. In the future, people are gonna laugh about how we used to just leave dirty poo poo in our bums. Hey, you know me, Cam. You know I'm good for a couple dingleberries. Crusty bum, right there. I, you know when you poop, you think you get it with the wipes. You think you're taking care of. You think you're doing the right thing. You're not. You're not. What you need in your life is a good old a Tushy. Tushy has finally made number two cleanup more hygienic and better for the environment. <laughs> they knew what they were doing sponsoring this episode. <laughs> you can now have a fresh stream of water. The same same water as your sink or shower to clean up your bum after every poop. I've been having some bad poops recently. I wish I got tushy soon. For all the dirty bum bum people like me that's been living life just wiping, get you a little tush. Tushy's bidets are easy to set up on any toilet. In under 10 minutes, you can set up your at-home bidet that will change your life forever. Mm -hmm. I'm not even kidding. This product is life changing. It took me two and a half days to put up a desk. 10 minutes with the tushy. For a limited time, our listeners get 10% off their entire order at hellotushy.com. Go to H-E-L-L-O-T-U-S-H-Y.com and use our code Y-S-K for 10% off. It's time to get rid of those skid marks once and for all. It's no secret that toilet paper is bad for the environment. We all know that. So not even it's like a personal thing where your butt is dirty, but you're going to be helping the earth because toilet paper, using excess toilet paper is bad for the earth. Imagine being more clean and keeping the earth more clean. Every Tushy Bidet comes with a 30-day hassle-free return and a 12-month, one-year warranty. Woo! It's risk-free to join over 3 million real pooping human beings I'm one of them. who have made the switch to a cleaner and more confident but get that fresh out of the shower feeling at hellotushy.com for a limited time. Our listeners get 10% off your entire order when you use code YSK at checkout. That's 10% off your order at H-E-L-L-O-T-U-S-H-Y.com with promo code YSK. It's time to back that ass up with confidence. Now on to the rest of the episode. <laughs> You have a lot of nerve to come after me for my 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 ribs and my lower back. Let's take a poll in this room. How are Cam's nipples? <laughs> my nipples are fine. The They're one, slightly sh translucent. Show them on the internet. I'm not showing my nipples. I'm not showing my nipples on the internet. Because they're not currently shaved. I'll shave. You'll you'll get. You the shave your nippies? You go, hell yeah. Why you get them sucked on? No, because I get the there's hair all around them. Would what? Okay. Mm, my my nipples no. look like if you licked the lollipop yeah. and then dropped it at a hair salon. Oh, like. Are you keeping that or music? I was about to say, golly. Shots fired. Local. No, if you licked the lollipop, threw it in a pile of hair. That's my nipple. Dude, yeah. Your a pink lollipop. Your nipples are gross. They used to be literally see through. I feel like they shift. <laughs> they, don't, they don't move. I feel like it's a gear shift. No. They don't move. It's like four wheel drive. If I woke up one day and they're just like off balance, the next day they're inner, I would go to the doctor. What would you do first thing in the morning? I'd you wake help. up with a third nipple. You can't go to the doctor. What do you do? I'd rub it to see if it has sensory problems. But then. What if it did? If I could actually feel it, it would make you feel real good. I'd keep it. I wouldn't tell anybody. So what about a pool? A pool. You get in a pool. What would you do? I have to wear a t-shirt. Say I'm going through midlife crisis. You're Dude, 25. why are you wearing a shirt in the pool? Be like, I, hell, I just don't. And then I literally would go underwater and be like. <gasps> okay, but what about when you have your kid and you got to get the skin to skin contact? And you I don't have them? to do that. Is that a law? <laughs> just say, I think that's right, isn't it? I don't it know. Might be, it might be a custom, but it's, there's no law. Oh, okay. Am I getting handcuffed for it? Are you going to have cologne on? Yeah. I'm gonna spray right on that nipple. It's gonna get nice and No, I'm saying whenever you have nice your kid, when you spray your cologne and then you no, hold your God, kid, no. they get all kinds of chemicals. It can be allergic. How many to I, cause problems? I know that's what I'm saying. So are you gonna go skin to skin? No. Yeah. I'm just not gonna wear cologne or deodorant. Mm. I'll just be a stinky onion dad. <laughs> I'll just be. I'll literally. They'll think I've been flipping burgers my whole life. How? How soon until whenever you have your first kid? Can I hold them without you looking at me? If it feels up to me. Oh, without looking at you. <laughs> They gotta be six. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. They gotta walk on their own and yeah, make decisions. They, got, they literally have to be able to call my phone number. No, without like they're staying the night with you or just in the same room, but I can like look away and make a call. You're I'm in your guest room. You're in my guest room. I'd say they gotta be at least, bro. I trust you. I trust you. You wouldn't do anything. I'd say three months. Damn. That's a long time. But the first month and a half, like you're not really supposed to. Some parents don't let anybody see their baby. Like let them come come to life, get okay. the system, whatnot. Okay. 
Uh, it's all up to live. Really. Yeah. Hell, I'd give it to you day of. I'm like, hey, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go buy some peanuts. You, need, you want something out of the vending machine? I'm like, hold this little okay. bastard. As long as I can't hold your kid, I'm not giving it anything. I'm not giving it gifts, food, water, nothing. You can hold my I just told I'm you. I'm just I, saying, but you you I don't. You obviously them. have to go through your higher up. So unless your higher up says, so I'm just saying. Hey, mama mama chooses. Mama bear. I'm, might, I'm telling her. But past, I don't think Liv will be that type of yes, mama she bear, will. though. Yes, she will. No, not the. She'll not, be like my mom. Not the month and a half of don't touching him. A couple weeks for sure. But like month and a half, that's. That's six weeks and no one can touch him. Hell I, right. I, you th this is what I, Hell right. Is what you said. <laughs> this is what I think I'm gonna be as a dad. I feel like I'll be very protective, especially if I have a little girl. Oh God. If I have a little girl, but I I don't think I'll ever allow anybody to kiss my kid. I'm kissing your kid. You're not kissing my kid. Yeah. No, you can't. You can't physically stop me. I will kiss your kid. I will. I will. I will hurt you. I will kiss your kid. Why do you want to kiss my kid so bad? Because that'll be my niece or nephew. So I'll kiss him. No, it's or not. her. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. I'll literally go. Hey. And I'll be like. Right there. Now you're in a full nose. I'm kissing your kid. Don't <laughs> worry about it. <laughs> My context is about to fall out. What the hell was that? My context is about to fall out. But I've also been practicing winking with both eyes. I should never see <gasps> your whole mandible when you wink. I should never see your entire... You said I've been practicing winking. <laughs> a wink is supposed to be just... No, wink with both eyes. That's a blink, dumbass. No, but That's just shutting your eyes. Why did wink with both eyes? No, but separated a bit. Separated. What? Se separatedly. That's that coffee and, and monster shit. Se blink with both eyes. Separate. Separate. Try to breathe and then hold it. Separ not breathe. Separatedly. Separate. Separated. Separately. Separated. Separated. Separately. Separated. Separated. Se now you're just choosing to be different. You know the word is separately. One. Mm -hmm. Wow, you're talented. You literally looked like you're having an. I can't. I don't even want to say it. Be insensitive. That's. Yeah. Not good. No, I know. Stop it! Oh, speaking of, you said my rib cage is disgusting. <laughs> you did I didn't say, say it was yes, you did. I no, I, you said it frightens me or it concerns me. You said when it, I, you told me this in person, you said, Peyton, I feel like if I were to lift up your shirt right now, it would be n no skin, no organs, just a skeleton with cobwebs and spiders hanging off of it. It would be a little dusty. I said that. Yeah, I said it to me in the gym when I was trying to better myself. I said that. You did to my eyes. I said that straight to. <laughs> Don't wink at me. No, it definitely, if you pulled up, it'd be like a small action scene in there. Just like skeletons <laughs> fighting stuff. You can go, <gasps> they all just disappear. Um, you have skin everywhere, but just your ribs are just bones. But I found out that your rib cage is not just in the front this week. I genuinely didn't know that. You didn't know, as opposed to... I thought, what it actually The is. rib cage wraps around. I didn't know that. Now I do. That makes more sense. And that's a genuinely, I didn't know. I feel like that's common that people don't know that. Because anytime you hear somebody, I broke my rib, what are they holding? They're Their right side. here. Their side. No one's ever been like, ah, I broke my rib. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> this probably wouldn't feel good on the rib, going like that. The ribs wrap. Did you, I, I'm did not you, arguing with did you. Did you think your back was jello? You just thought your back was a, a waterbed. Hey. I'm not an anatomist. I don't then, know. Then no one's an anatomist. That's not a job. <laughs> you, th you thought that there wasn't ribs in the back. I'm, I'm j let me be genuine. I genuinely never thought about my ribs. But when I did, I thought they were just in the front. And I don't feel like that's crazy. It's just a lack of knowledge. I was ignorant. And I'm fine admitting that. So, okay, my question is. But when have you ever, I got a rib cage tattoo. Where would you guess that was at? Somebody said I got a rib cage right tattoo. Right here. No, 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 that's front. That is front. Holy shit. You just went right here. <laughs> no, that's not the front me. of your butt. You're going to piss me off. You're already pissing. You thought our backs were water balloons. I didn't think anything. I, I didn't think anything. Don't put words into my goddamn gullet. That means that means if someone hits you once in the back, just punch you in the back. Yeah. They're, they're striking vital organ. I, di I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't think about it. I genuinely didn't think about it. Okay, I can give you a pass for not thinking about yeah. it. But how would you draw a rib cage if you only thought it was in the front? I've never drawn a 3D person before. I draw sticks, dog. Who am I? So you were, in, you were in journalism and you never made a sketch of a body. <laughs> you never made a sketch. You never sketched. What, what, you never went through an art phase. I don't know if you know. You that. wore a tail. <laughs> you made a yearbook. You never, you never drew a picture. A, no. You solicited duct tape wallets and silly bands, but you never drew a picture. That's what you're trying to tell me. I have. That's where the line is. I have. Draw it. I have. Not a 3D model, dumbass. So, dumbass. <laughs> so, so. In, it, your, it, in, your, it, in your beautiful little mind, your precious little mind, ribs are just like this. <laughs> ribs are yeah, like, this. like five little. It's like the front of a rake. Just sitting Isn't there. the human body beautiful? It's very Isn't complex. Isn't it so amazing? It is. That the, the, those little wires right here are just holding up me? It's not a wire. It's I'm a bone. okay. I'm, I'm tired of people being so.
specific about me. I'm just trying to talk. <sighs> I'm just trying to talk, and I'm tired of people picking each freaking word. They're taking what I'm saying and not what I'm thinking. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. I can't even be myself anymore. It took you four seconds. Four seconds. <laughs> That's what you just gave. That's energy you just gave. Four my equilibrium. Four more equilibrium. How much money for you to remain with your hat off? What did I just? <laughs> How much money for you to do the re remain? <laughs> How much money for you to do the remainder of the episode with your hat off? How much to remain with the pants? Free, Dad. Like, so let me see the back of your knees. <laughs> There's holes in your underwear again. God damn it. Okay, birthday idea. Draws. Draws. Oh my God, we're wearing the same pants. We are <laughs> wearing the same. And pants. we're wearing New Balances. God damn it. Like Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Hey, we got you got that shirt the same place I got this hat. Oh my God, we're walking mannequins. What was that? I booted. Hey. I'm not gonna hey, lie, this drink might be worse than the forbidden yeah, drink. Yeah, I was just, I was just about- <laughs> Sorry. I can hear you scratch your own face. Think- I want you to think about that. Internal- you're crying. <laughs> you're breathing so loud! Bro, relax. Alright, calm, calm down. I'm fine! I'm fine! Your eyes still close. <laughs> what was that? Both of our couches are broken. I broke my couch. No. Oh man, this studio is run down. You need a break. You need a break. Dog, I can see you thinking. I can see your thoughts. You look like this. You're like a gopher, like a groundhog. Wait, uh, wait, what, didn't Groundhog Day already pass? Do Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like Cameron? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a freak like Cameron? Don't you? Just do an ad break. <laughs> oh, let's see, there they go. There's those ribs. So you shave the back, but not the front. I did shave my... Oh, you did? Yeah. Good dog. You want to see low? Don't go any lower. Don't go any lower. If you f pulled your pants down and it was a spotless beaver, I would be, I would be absolutely appalled, and we would no longer be friends. If you showed me your crotch and I could land an airplane on it, if I showed you, if I showed you my monkey, if be it was a, a spotless monkey, then I, you would be out of commission. You would have to find a new coat. If that be <laughs> fucking crazy. <laughs> Bro, Ryan, look at him. Look at you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't look real. <laughs> Bro, you don't look like you're sorry. Are you about to throw up? You just did what dogs do when they're gonna throw up. They go, they start licking and shit. They can feel the acid reflux. Remember when Ryan threw up a call? Oh, when he said, hey, I'm, I think I'm about to throw up. My mouth is salivating. What? You are so soaking wet. You're soaking wet. Stop itching your face. You're touching squid couch, Vegemite carpet, nasty ribs. It's in our ceiling. Holy uh, bloody. What's that yellow stuff? <laughs> God damn. We have to get out. We gotta leave this place. Carbon peroxide. <laughs> Coming out. Hey, you're never allowed to do that again. You are never, ever allowed to get that combination. Right, can you get, can, right, can you hand me a cu the cucumber Gatorade Holy out of the fridge? Holy shit. <laughs> 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 My balloon knot is oh bro, you look like you just got in trouble by your mom. Thank you. And the fact that we have those in our fridge just disappoints. Who drank this? That'd be you. Oh. My god, there's spit in the bottle. No, there's not. No, there's not. Oh. It just looks like it. Dog, you look like you just got in trouble. Like you're 11 and you just got like grounded. You look so young and just 
anxious. Wet? No. <laughs> I do look a little wet. I didn't do it. That was a joke. The modern bidet for people who poop. <sighs> this is... We've gone off the rails. This is beyond... Oh, no, no. You, you're not even in a train. <laughs> you're in a B-22 exclusive stealth jet. You know, what I, you know what pisses me off when people ask me if I want to get... I can absolutely smell that from over here. <laughs> the entire room just turned into a salon. It, the whole room is a spa. <laughs> it's better than the, the carbon peroxide coming through the ceiling. The squid guts everywhere. <laughs> That's your couch. My uh. couch has sank too. The You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by our friends at DraftKings! Looking for a super offer for Super Bowl 58? Yes. DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered. New customers can bet on the big game and turn five bucks into 200 instantly in bonus bets. I am so excited for Super Bowl Sunday. Camwin, who you got? Da -da -dun -da -da -da. Who you got? I'm gonna go Chiefs. I'm gonna go Chiefs too. I Niners like, are tough though. I know, but I like the odds. I like the odds. It's looking good on DraftKings. It is. It is. With the San Francisco 49ers being minus 125 favorites, Oof. if we really stick with the Chiefs, put a little breach down on it. I'm telling you. We can flip, have a little, have a little, have a little come up. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code YSK. New customers can bet five bucks to get 200 Woo. instantly in bonus bets only on DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of Super Bowl 58 with code YSK. The crown is uh, yours. Now on to the rest of the episode. The you Should Know Podcast. We went to Colorado this weekend. We did. We went, we went to, to Colorado. Ridge, Colorado. How was it? It was fun as hell. The vlog, uh, vlog is out now on Patreon. Uh, go to the description. Whole vlog is out there. It was hella fun. One word to describe Breckenridge. Elevation. Oh my god. Headache. Dude. Blood in nose. That was three words. But every morning I woke up, I sneezed, blew snot. There's a little crusty blood. Woke up too much. I'm woke so up with serious. headaches. Uh, Dude. Sore throat. Going from like, what are we, like 400 feet above yeah. sea level now to 11,000? It, Terrible. Is like, it is actually, that was our first time. It was actually beautiful different. out there. Beautiful. Oh, it was gorgeous. It was fun as hell, too. Y'all see on the vlog, there's a ton of shit that happened. I hate to break, too, and I'm going to say this on the podcast. I don't <clears throat> plan on going back unless it's for a show. Bro. I don't. Come on. No. Unless we don't say it in a got We got insulated pants. We got snow stuff, boots. We I can go, go so every can, year. Yeah, it gets cold in Texas. I, 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 I just don't have that. It, it wasn't for me. You want to know why? Bro. Because when we went to Colorado this weekend, I had the worst trip of all time. I got trapped in a mountain. Bro, I was stranded in a mountain. <laughs> Dude, I have to tell this story. Literally, you were. I, I got to tell the story. It. it started from the day that I landed. So I landed in Denver. The cabin we were staying at was at the top of a mountain in Breckenridge, which is two hours away, right? So I land at like 10 p.m. It's dark outside, it's snowing, it's cold. I don't like that. I'm not used to it. What time were you supposed to land? Dude, I was supposed to land at like 7. You got like three delays. I was supposed to land at 7. When I got onto the plane, the, the pilot goes over the intercom. And he's like, hey, we're going to have a delay. Uh, they're going to do maintenance on the plane. We don't know what's going on, but we're going to figure it out. Don't say that. Tell me what's going on before you say we have maintenance coming on. Oh, my God. I literally see for literally an hour and a half maintenance people coming on and off the plane. Absolutely. On and off the plane. I'm like... I don't want to be on this flight. Nope. I don't want to be here anymore. Nope. I finally land in Denver. I have to take a two-hour drive to Breckenridge, Colorado at the top of a mountain. Pitch black. Pitch black. So by the so I find an Uber. It's like $400 to get out there. I find an Uber. I make it to Breckenridge, Colorado. Now it's the time to drive up a mountain in Breckenridge to get to the cabin, right? My Uber is in a regular Cadillac. Not like a big SUV Cadillac, yeah. like a little like a mom Cadillac. Like a little mom Cadillac yeah. Right? It's pitch black outside. He's driving 12 miles per hour because we're on top of we're going up the top of a mountain and it's snowing outside. And it's 1 a.m. It is dangerous out there. I can't see anything. There's no street lights. There's no nothing. I can see little glowing eyes in the distance. That's all I know. That's all I see. A pack of hyenas. Dude, that's it. Bears, whatever's out there. So we get I kid you not, like two miles from the cabin. We've been going up this mountain for a little bit. I'm getting dizzy. My ears are popping. I'm freezing, and it is dark outside. We get to this part of the mountain where the map starts to go a little haywire. We're losing service. There's no signal. My Uber driver doesn't know where to go. We, we can follow the trail up to the mountain where you think we're supposed to go, or 
there's like this little deviation path, but it's pitch black. You can't see where this little deviation patch is, but it seems like if we take this deviation path, so we can just skip half the mountain and go up to the cabin at the top of the mountain. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So my Uber driver stops the car and he goes, sorry, I can't uh, figure out where I'm going. He said, I think I'm supposed to turn here. We start to go on a decline. Now I'm like, hold on. We were just going up for about 45 minutes. Why are we starting to go down? He's going down the middle of the mountain where there's no roads. Like we're on the valley. <laughs> we're on fresh snow. And now I'm a dumbass, but I know something. This Cadillac is not made to go through fresh snow two feet of it. at 1 a.m. <laughs> on a mountain. We're starting to drive literally a minute into driving through that valley in the middle where there's no roads, just fresh snow and ice. The Cadillac is stuck. Mm. I'm like, there's no way there is no way that this is happening i'm trapped in the middle of the mountain it is literally negative nine degrees outside in 1 a.m pitch black icy glowing eyes fast forward we're shoveling snow out the bottom of his car for 35 minutes try i'm pushing his cadillac i'm a weak boy i can't push a mo like a one-ton vehicle i can't do that i'm pushing it we can't do it i try to call cam cam's already at the cabin they got he got there before me I can't call Cam, there's no service. By the grace of God, I get one signal. I got one chance to get one call. I call Cam, I said, Cam, I'm in the middle of the mountain, help me, I'm gonna drive my location, come get him, I'm stuck. He starts to run out of gas. The Uber driver starts to run out of gas. He's like, I have to keep gas in my car, I gotta turn it off. He turns off his car. It is freezing outside, <laughs> negative nine, pitch black. And you were shoveling snow. And I'm shoveling an snow with Texas clothes on. I didn't change into my snow gear yet. That was true. Cam comes, rescues me, we go to the top of the mountain. Boom, fast forward, we enjoy our time in Breckenridge, Colorado. I'm having headaches the whole time, about to have a nosebleed, sore throat, I don't like it, my ears are popping everywhere I go. It's still glowing eyes. Three days later, it's time to leave Breckenridge. God. Cam is driving from Colorado back to Texas. I'm flying because I don't like car rides. So I have to find a way to get to the airport by myself. Should be simple. The day before I leave, I schedule an Uber. Pick me up at 8 a.m., take me two hours to Denver, I can go home to Texas. Genius. I wake up the next morning, I check my Uber. Uber's still scheduled to pick you up, Peyton. Peyton? <laughs> Uber's still scheduled to pick you up, Peyton? All is good, I'm packing my bags, everything's good, I'm ready to go back home to Texas. Five minutes, five minutes before that Uber's supposed to pick me up, I get a notification from the Uber app. Hey, your ride is canceled, dog. Good luck getting to the airport. Wait, what? What do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? I spend the next 30 to 40 minutes trying to schedule Ubers, Lyfts, anything. All canceling. They don't come all the way up to Breckenridge. They don't want to drive in that snow to get stuck in it like I did on the first time there. We start to go into panic mode. Me, Cam, and all our friends. We're like, we're in the middle of nowhere. We're at the top of a mountain. The closest city, the closest town... It's like 15 minutes out. Mm -hmm. My friends say, hey, we will drive you to that town 15 minutes out and we'll try to help you and see if their Ubers can pick you up out there. Mm -hmm. We drive 15 minutes out, we're scheduling Ubers. Ubers still won't go out there. We parked in front of like this little market, right? This little market, <laughs> looks like, like a little mom and pop market. It There's does. literally no- They have like saloon doors. Saloon doors. Kick in. Dude, exactly. But there's no cars on the street. It's like None. a desolate ass town. Like, Literally. pretty sure I saw a tumbleweed go across. It looked like, like a Tom a and snow, Jerry movie. A snowy tumbleweed. I go into the I go into the market, right? Everybody in there knows everybody in there. Yeah. It's, there's only four people. Jameis, is that you? Exactly. Everybody that's walking in and out. Peter, what's going on? How's the kids? Oh. See you tomorrow, Shelly. Yeah, it's, it's, they know each other. I tell the clerks behind the counter, I go, hey, excuse me, I am stranded. There's no Ubers that come out here. I need to go to the airport. I'm going to miss my flight. I spent $1,300 on this flight. It was an expensive flight. I need to go to the airport. She goes, oh, honey, you're mistaken. Ain't no Ubers coming out here. I said, oh, no, I get that now. Yeah. Help me get to Denver. She goes, they're the sweetest ladies ever because they start to converse with themselves. They start to talk about city folk in the area. They're like, John's got that car, but no, nah, he just got that tire replaced. So he's got to drop his kids off of soccer practice at nine. <laughs> a, a guy comes next to me and he goes, ah, I'll take you to the airport, but I got three German shepherds in the bag. <laughs> they won't bite you, but they'll get in your face. I said, what? And then he goes, you got a cigarette? I said, what, dog? What are you talking about? 
I'm stranded in the middle of Colorado right now. This guy, this guy has a half of a canine unit in his back seat. <laughs> talking about you can get in. You got a SIG? I'm walking in and out. I'm trying to like wave down the one or two cars that come every 10 minutes asking if they can drive me to Denver. I there. remember, yes, they that They say, one. no, we're not doing it. Sorry. I got to go up to the slopes. I go back into the mart. The lady behind the counter tells me, hey, there's one driver in this town that is here for that exact reason. She handles a lot of stranded people because they don't know Ubers come out here. I go, okay. Call her. <laughs> Give me her number. I take, I, she writes her number down on a piece of paper. I go outside to call her. Dude, that this, guy yeah. with the three German shepherds comes up next to me again. He goes, hey, excuse me, man. Do you have a cigarette? I said, bro, I just talked to you. He's like, dog, <laughs> I don't smoke. <laughs> yeah. I was like, stop asking me. I call the lady. She's like, yeah, uh, I can pick you up in a town that's 15 minutes out the other way. And I can pick you up from there in about 45 minutes. And I say... You're my only option, but I'm going to miss my $1,300 flight. We all go to this town, literally the middle of nowhere, nowhere. <laughs> like, yeah. there's nothing out there. Literally nothing but one gas station. There was the oldest man I've ever seen in my life at this gas station. <laughs> he looks like one of the founding fathers of that settlement. Bro, and so I went in there because I needed water because I was panicking. I was having a panic attack and I was anxious. You were. I kid you not, that old man comes into the gas station while I'm checking out. Excuse me, sir, do you have a cigarette? Bro, what is with cigarettes in this town? I don't have cigarettes. I don't want to smoke. I don't smoke. Leave me alone. The lady that's supposed to be my one driver calls. She goes, hey, little problem. I'm going to be about five minutes past my time. Fast forward. She was like 30 minutes late. Literally, she was quadruple late. She, she comes around. She picks me up from the gas station. Her car looks like they had a mud fight in it. <laughs> but I can't complain. It was, a, it was like a Ram 1500. There was dog hair everywhere. I'm allergic to cats and felines. I was starting to sneeze. We were driving through the mountains trying to get to Denver. She was pushing it too because she knew I had to make the flight. Mm -hmm. I, it was $400. She could charge me $400 to get her there, to get me there, but I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. She starts cussing out every driver and I was like, this is my last time going to Colorado. We finally made it and I made the flight and I made it home, but that was my Colorado trip from hell. It was... It was horrible to witness, honestly, yeah. firsthand. Like yeah. it literally was like a movie script. Do I look like I have cigarettes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks you're just sick guy. Yeah. No, but that pit, dude, the thing that legit made me think in the middle, I was like, this is a movie. Yeah. You had to write someone's number down, crumble the piece of paper, put it in your pocket. We had to go 15 more minutes down there. By the way, our van fit seven people. We had eight human beings in it with eight suitcases. So imagine that you were getting choked by your own suitcase. It was literally like Ryan told a joke in the back, but half of you, half of you was too anxious to laugh at it, and the other half was getting choked. So you were like, <laughs> you were sitting there trying to laugh. You're like, <laughs> dude, yeah, it, it, it was. Oh man, it was it was it was a it was definitely a trip from hell. The owner of that saloon, you ain't met a mountain girl yet. Oh my god, I said. Good riddance. <laughs> We're gonna talk about more of the Colorado trip on Patreon. Like, give the more deep dive stories, and we'll have Ryan it, on it, to talk it about it. It was too. it was fun. Don't let him. Okay, it was fun for us. <laughs> it was hell for him. But when it wasn't hell, he enjoyed himself too. It was a great time. Uh, just not the you know beginning and end part. Yeah, the middle. Um, the middle was great. And we'll talk about it more on Patreon. <laughs> This episode is brought to you by our good friends at Harry's. Life can be absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. But you know what's not funny? No. Getting ripped off. I hate that. You know who agrees with that? Harry's. Our friends at Harry's. I bet. They saw customers getting screwed over by questionable overpriced shaving products and decided to do something better. Instead of charging the same stupid high prices, Harry's found their own way to make beautifully designed razors for a fraction of the price of the other big brands. You already know Harry's has the highest, highest of qualities of razors. It's so good. But I look for the little details. I put Harry's in my bathroom and it just blends in well. The packaging, everything that they sent over, it is beautiful. It fits into a bathroom perfectly. It doesn't stay and now it's like, oh, why is that in there? It just blends in perfectly. Packaging, exquisite. It's the little details that Harry's thinks of that I appreciate. Just German engineer blades made in their own factory that stay sharp longer. Harry's has customizable delivery options for scheduled refills as low as $2. Woo. Half of what you'd be paying 
from other big brands. So get a five blade razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and travel cover for just three bucks. Three bucks. Woo! At harrys.com slash YSK. Harry's has the highest customer satisfaction in the shaving industry. The highest. With a no risk trial. Don't like your shave? No worries. It's on Harry's. Convenient subscription options that you can cancel at any time time getting ripped off isn't funny mm -mm. switch to harry's get started with a 13 dollars trial set for just three dollars at harry's.com slash ysk that's harry's.com slash ysk for our three dollar trial set now on to the rest of the episode the you should know podcast we facetimed last night me and you we did and i showed you something you did you can tell them what i showed you i don't want to you're going to say that. I'm not going to say it. So, Cam FaceTimed me at midnight, and I, you did FaceTime. The face way you set this. Was it this, not? The way you set this up. You FaceTimed me at midnight. What time was it? What? What? Why did I FaceTime you, though? I don't know. I don't remember. You FaceTime me all the, all the time. Okay. What were you FaceTime me for? To tell you about the gym. So oh. the time we wanted to go. Oh, yeah. The only reason you want me around. Yeah. So you can feel like the big man in the gym. Now that Romeo's gone. <laughs> hey, Romeo, how's that desolate, lonely-ass gym you're at now without Cam? I can tell you my experience is fun with him. <laughs> <laughs> I called you for the gym, and what'd you show me? Volunteer. Volunteered it. Wasn't asked for, wasn't requested, wasn't demanded. What'd you show? My, what's on my bed? What else did I show you? Oh, that's not it. What? That is absurd, though. <laughs> but you also showed cheeks. Oh, I did show you my butt. Yeah. Well, I, I do that all the time. But I don't ask for that. Your bed, though, <laughs> your sleeping attire. Most people have, like, a, a glass of milk and pajamas. You had an arsenal. You had a, you had <laughs> the most outstanding bed items I've ever seen. No, in yeah. It, it, I, that, well, that FaceTime is when I realized I have a problem. I guarantee for a billion dollars, no one could type out. No one could type out the exact combination of items that was in your bed. Right now, before I say it, pause the video and comment what you guess is in my bed. It's, you're wrong. Okay. There you go. You're wrong. This was in my bed. Go down the list. <laughs> well, I can't think certain things. <laughs> but it was me. Mm -hmm. It was my phone, my phone charger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My glasses. Mm -hmm. Three water bottles. Mm -hmm. A beanie. Mm-hmm. A kitchen knife. Yep. Mm -hmm. And a pocket knife. The pocket knife was opened. The blade was out and exposed. Okay. Okay. What else? What else was there? I don't even what remember. Else, sir? What? what else was there? I can't say the one thing. What? You can't say that? The... Oh, yeah. That was open. That was open and gone. It was open and gone. It was open and gone. Why? What else was there? What it was? Tell me. Can you just mean to? I don't know. I can't say that one. What else? What else was there? It was a food item. I had food in my bed? You not have food in your bed. <laughs> what was that? I genuinely don't remember. It was like a bag of something. It was like a bag of chips or was a oh, bag yeah, some I, sort of bag. No, I'd like I'd like I don't remember though. It's it's like you it's like you camped in your bed though. Like but can I explain myself? You had protection, you had food, you had water, you had entertainment, you had bedding. It's it's literally like you went and camped in your own home okay. on your bed. Can I explain myself? I've been very paranoid recently. Very paranoid recently. Of what? I, hurting me. Like, people hurting me. Like, I think people are after me now. That's why in my bed I have a pocket knife that's open, a kitchen knife, a beanie, <laughs> three water bottles. Food, snacks, rations, <laughs> okay, phone is, charger. And the placement of my ni my knives on my bed is very smart. You just... Y'all didn't, ah! didn't get the accurate one because I just placed those over because I almost stabbed myself. So, on my left side... I have uh, my big knife, my kitchen knife. <laughs> because if somebody breaks into my door, right, and they come after me, and I'll be like, please don't, don't, don't. It's under the, the cover. So I can just be like, <laughs> right there. But then if that doesn't work, that one's mobile. The pocket knife to my right's mobile. <laughs> I put that in my drawers. I put that in my panties. And I'll be like, all right, right, right there. So that's, 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 that's my reasoning for that, right? And, oh, and then last night in my bed, right after you called me, <laughs> I Googled how much is it to have 24 seven security outside your house? <laughs> Cause I have a security guard at my house that comes fr like frequently. I'm not going to tell you schedule, but he comes sometimes. <laughs> but, uh, I looked up how much is it to have 24 seven security and hiring one. No, you're yeah, right. Yeah. It's cheap. It's cheaper than I thought. You don't have villains after you. I don't, but I, my house is so big. 
Be a, oh no, no not just, like that. Like it's just like I'm not used. To, I've lived in 200 square foot apartments. Put up a doggy gate on the stairs. That's the thing you say. Are you stupid? That's why you, you have no survival instinct. That's why every survival movie there's some sort of trap or booby trap laid. Oh, a doggy door is a booby trap. Your ears claim to be good. You oh. Oh, I didn't know that you were a stupid idiot. Guess what? There's a doggy door. There's a doggy door on the ground. Guess what they do? Not that. You strategically buy a, t a tall one that no one can just leap over. They have to open it. You hear the click. You oh. arm yourself. Okay, you get show to me a six foot. Show me a six foot doggy door. Guarantee, if you gave me twenty seconds, I could find one. On Amazon. Was it for Clifford the Big Red Dog, dumbass? Probably. <laughs> You put that, you lay a trap, put some crinkle paper. I have protection in my home. Yeah, kitchen knives under a pillow. One of the things, so you know my staircase, right? Yeah. I was thinking about getting- It's a great ch choke point right there. Yeah, I know. I have, we've already gone through- Exactly. My security is, as, it, that has that Exactly. Care, but I'm thinking of get, getting big metal gates put right there. You know what I mean? Like a big metal like door gate. You know how in some homes like in LA, they have like the, the, the metal door and then the real door? I'm thinking about getting that in front of my staircase. So I'm so paranoid, bro. Cheap doggy door, bad. Bank vault security on third floor. Yeah. Good. No, first floor. You can't right even get up door? there. They can't even get up to the stairs. Uh, it's on the first floor. Okay. I thought you said on your staircase, like right in front of no, your room. No, 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 no. I like, was like, that's psychotic. No, no, no. Hey, and maybe if you turned the light off and turned the TV off when you went to bed, wouldn't hear things. No, that's when I do hear things is whenever everything's silent and dark. Exactly. That's when my voices start going. <laughs> if you hear something, something's there. We we left for a three-day trip, and you chose to leave your TV on. Yeah, so when there's I got back, something. there was people talking. There's something wrong with is you. Is that crazy? That's lunatic. When I get back, I want to hear things. I don't want it to be quiet and that's cold. That's ludicrous behavior. Why? Absolutely ludicrous. You don't know what it's like to be alone. You don't get it. You've never been alone in your life? That's not true. When? You lived with your parents. Uh-huh. You went to college. Uh-huh. You lived with roommates. Uh-huh. You left college. Uh -huh. You had a wife. Uh-huh. You, now, you have a wife and a dog. Uh-huh. When have you been alone? Somewhere in between that second and third You've chapter. You've lived alone? Somewhere between that second and third chapter, I was very, very sad. And I don't it, give a shit. It was lonely up here. That doesn't matter. Physical, no. No, I'm talking about, like, safety. Exactly. Like, you didn't have people to talk to. Like, you had people to talk to. I don't have people to talk to. You can talk to me anytime you want. It's not the same. <laughs> Why? Because it's over a phone. You're not there with me. You're not there to hold my hand. But when I asked to come st stay the night for You've never asked me to stay the night. Holy shit, you've asked me to stay the night? You've asked me to stay the night? When have you asked me to stay the night? I don't ask to come over, and I don't ask to stay the night. When have you ever? First off, two nights ago, I asked you to come over to my place. That's not so... You saw, uh, uh uh You're switching it. When have you asked me to stay the night? Oh. Name it. I'm asking you. Pull up a text. Pull up, so I pull up a haven't. Day. So I've never stayed the night with you. Whenever we have to go to trips. No, no, no. I spit on you. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. No, no, no. When? 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 This when? was like a month and a half ago. Whenever? What? Whenever Liv's friends were there? And I said, can I stay the night? Because you had to. Oh. You didn't want to stay in the room with 18 girls. Oh, but oh, little buddy. Oh, little friend. Oh, small Cam, man. Cam, on a random Tuesday. You've 15 never like seconds ago, you said it never happened. Because you're not allowed to. 15. What? <laughs> Oh, 15 seconds ago, 15 seconds ago, you said it never happened. And I immediately just gave you an, immediately. No, I'm saying off the, off the. Oh, no, you, never, you know, no, you, you never, told me you not to change it. You can't change now. No. You can't change. Yes. Yeah. No, you're being a dumbass. You're being a gaslighter. You said it never you're happened. You're gaslighting me. You've never asked me to stay the night without preconceived things happening. If you said that, that's okay. different. You okay, said but you okay, never asked okay, me. with that. Without preconceived things happening, your wife having friends over. And she said, when y'all planned for so y'all to be separate, so you have girls time and boys time. Just you being my friend, have you ever asked me to stay the night? Have I? No, to go okay. to- Okay. What does that mean? No, that's why I'm not going to be at your funeral. You're already going to be dead. <laughs> we live eight minutes from each other. You never say the night with me anymore now because we're close. Are you stupid? Are you stupid? You've stayed in, our, you've stayed in my new place. Yes. I stayed in that bed in the guest room. And I Wait. said how soft it was. Like the, one of the first weeks you moved in. Oh, that's because we were moving in. That's because you- 
Oh my god, that's I, I had my place this time. No, you didn't! No, you didn't! No, you didn't! No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh my god! Oh, gaslighter! Gaslighter! No, you no 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 you're you're stupid. No! Dude, dude you're you're pissing. That me. was before you had your place. Cam, we got our place a week before. So you said it was worth moving in! Yes! Where was I? Was I not fully moved in when I slept over there? No! Alright, bro. Alright, cool, cool, cool. No! Okay, cool. You mean to tell me you would move in hey, and immediately stay somewhere else? I'm not the person that has to deal with God about lying. I'm telling the truth. Oh, but you do. We all do. No, about lying. You do. I don't lie. Oh, dude, you like to argue. That's the thing. You li you get a little blood flow whenever you whenever you argue. Oh, hello. Join more. <laughs> Why would you move into your new place and leave it immediately? Because I have nothing. I have no body. <laughs> what are you actually saying? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? You know what my you know what my life mission is? I'm going to I have to log into Patreon. You know what I'm gonna do? You know what? Patreon. You know what I'm gonna do at the live shows after this first batch of tour? Second tour. We're gonna have a best friends speed date. We're gonna have people in the crowd come up to the stage and I'm going to interview them to be my best friend friend and Why? then once i find that person you are going to regret not inviting me over and not sleeping with me not, not, not inviting you over <laughs> you can't you <laughs> it up again buddy three l's i invite I mean, you just, over all the time spend the night oh you don't invite me over to spend the night i mean my couch was your second most slept place in the last calendar year. Your bed was number one, my couch was number two. I don't invite you to stay over? No, you don't! I called you and said, please come and get snowed in with us! I don't like the snow, I wanted to go to LA! You gotta pick your words more carefully. I am so wet, my butthole is wet. Are you hurt? Did I'm you pissed. time out? Did you mean some of those things? I meant everything I just said. That was mean. Some of them. I was mean? What did I say I was mean? You said mean things if you really meant it. I meant everything I just said, but I was defending myself. I was saying how I feel. There you go, gaslighting, victim blaming. That's not victim blaming. Victim blaming, gaslighting. You you upset me. That's what you do. You upset me, and then whenever I whenever I defend myself, you do that. You break down and you make me feel like the victim. The so during suspect. during our show, you're gonna. Uh, Get new friend applications? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the You Should Know Podcast. This episode is brought to you by Good Chop. Everyone wants to start off their new year on the right foot. I do. And the good for one. me, and hopefully you, Bubba. Uh, you know I am. That means eating well. Ooh. And making sure we have enough energy to do everything we need to do. Okay, tell me how. But I don't know about you. I don't plan on running to the butcher every day when I want to get a fresh, good quality cut of meat. Oh, no. That's, not happening for me. No, that's a lot. That's why Good Chop is such a lifesaver for me. Woo, Good Chop offers fully customizable boxes of high quality meat and seafood delivered to your door on your schedule. The products are vacuum sealed, that's tight, and frozen at peak freshness so you can stock your freezer and cook when you want to. Good Chop is so advantageous for many reasons. One, you know you're getting amazing quality meat. Great meat. Two, you don't gotta keep going to the grocery store every night you wanna cook something nope. up. And three, it tastes absolutely amazing. Mwah. Good Chop sources its meat and seafood exclusively from American farms and fisheries so you can support local family farms and independent ranchers right here in the U.S. Another it one. won't cost you a fortune either. Good Chop's price per meal starts at just $3.74. Go to goodchop.com slash YSK120 and use the code YSK120 to get $120 <laughs> off across your first four boxes. Oh my gosh. Did That's code YSK120 at goodchop.com slash YSK120 for $120 off. Good shop.com slash YSK120, code YSK120. Now on to the rest of the episode. The You Should Know Podcast.
I feel like people are gonna think we hate each other. I love you, buddy. Oh, I love you too. I love you too. We had to. We had. We took a break. We went over to HR. We went. There's we no we, went, we no went to you. Yeah, we turned the corner and went to you. <laughs> hugged no, it out. No, I, I look, don't say that. We signed a dating relationship form. We did. A marriage clause. I thought we were supposed to. We we're supposed to tell HR that we're dating. I would love to get married to you. Right. Actually, it's I, too I late. Already got a wife. Hello. Well, can't have two. Well, Lou no, will. Well, <laughs> booming now, <laughs> South Vanilla. Like Lou, Lou will. Six men like Lou Cam win. I got two don't, cameras don't, with me in the cam one. Don't body roll and say cam one. You like when I body roll? It is fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Can't, can't do that on this couch. It's all right. I broke my couch today, too. Okay. I, I don't know. Were you about to say something? No. <laughs> okay. No. I have this would you rather. Okay. I don't know what conjured it inside my head, but I thought of You know, I think. Our weird, would you rather are dangerous. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ready? Okay. I'm going to try to be nice to you. I'll. I'll try to say the same. <laughs> We're like an old married couple. <laughs> yeah, we have to like, Gladys! It's like in the office, like, I'm speaking my truth. <laughs> yeah, literally. All right. Would you rather okay. have to run through a forest barefoot? <laughs> for, like full-blown forest, yeah, yeah, yeah. barefoot. Okay. Or get stung by three bee stings on your back while you have a sunburn? Oh, well, first of all, <laughs> I've never gotten a sunburn. <laughs> You're lucky man. <laughs> Hurts like hell. I turned into a pink lobster. I've tried to get a sunburn. My mom shil- tries to put aloe vera on. I'm like, I'm like, woman. It's the <laughs> worst thing ever. I've tried to get a sunburn once. It's Schlitterbahn. A sunburn. It's Schlitterbahn. <laughs> okay. Three bee stings on a sunburned back. Okay. Or sprinting through a forest barefoot. No sock, no shoe. How long am I sprinting? Am I sprinting from something or going to something? I have to know you these. Always. Have, you are sprinting as if there's a Kodiak chasing you. How long? We'll call it. What do you think's fair? Minute, minute and a half. Sprinting. I can't sprint that long. <laughs> yeah, you definitely can't. Your lungs would give out for your feet would. Okay, one minute. What forest? Sp- forest. Like a- The forest. <laughs> Which one? Doesn't matter. There's sharp things, there's critters, there's bugs, pine cones, there's needles, there's all sorts okay. of stuff on the ground. I would ha- definitely, that's, I, I was asking questions to try to change my mind because of how easy the would you rather was. I'm not going to You might be banned from Would You Rather because that was the easiest one ever. You think that's easy? Yes. The three bee stings with the sunburn on the back is easiest. You're taking three bee stings? <laughs> yes. The lifelong trauma from sprinting with your shoes off in the forest, there's so many options to what could go bad. You run away from bees in everyday life if we see them. You sprint away as if you owe them money. So now you have a sunburned back that you've never ex- I'm talking sunburn. Why are you hollering? You, you've never experienced a sunburn, so you're discrediting every pain that I've gone through. You've never had a sunburn, so you're gonna fe- you're gonna feel hell from that first off. Then three bees, which you've also never experienced. I've, I've been sung by bees. I've ste- and I've stepped on a needle in a forest, so we we both cleared there. Did you get a staff? No, it was very painful though. Right. Very painful. Okay, exactly. It went through my shoe. I, okay, exactly. So there's so many. Think of all the options that could come from whenever you are sprinting through a forest barefoot. First of all, where are my shoes and socks? But think, they're gone. They're gone for <laughs> whatever miscellaneous reason. I don't know. <laughs> you're sprinting for some, maybe you're sprinting from the robber, but he's in reality he's just trying to give you your shoes back because he knows it's gonna hurt. But at the same time, adrenaline is soaring through your body. So do you really feel your feet? My adrenaline lasts for 45 <laughs> seconds. I can't. I, you I don't, don't have any good hormones. I, I think I have low testosterone or something because my adrenaline is <laughs> gone quick. <laughs> like I'll be like, nah. nah. <laughs> okay. You don't understand the power of the sun. You don't understand the power of the forest. Name, Think about this. Name four things in a forest. <laughs> that was eight. <laughs> name four things in a forest. Bears, bees, beats and battles of Galactica. You office watch it, douche. Okay, Bears but, and bees. Listen, listen. Guess what's in the forest? The sun. <laughs> Is that stupid to say? There's so many trees. It's blotting out the sun, love. You didn't say what part of the forest is. There's exposed parts of the forest. Expo- talking deep. The bush. Wilderness. Okay, but you can still get sunburned in the forest. Can you not? You can get sunburned at night. <laughs> you can get sunburns at night, so you can't get sunburned if there's a couple of red oaks up? What, what did you say? You can get sunburned at night. Wait, isn't that a thing? No, 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 no. What did you just say? You, yeah, you can get sunburned at night. You've ever gotten? I can't, I've never gotten sunburned in the sun. I have melanin. Oh, I've never got it at night. <laughs> no one I know has got Am a sunburn. Am I wrong? Can you Google that? No one. Can you I, get sunburned at night? No one I've ever met has gotten a sunburn when they're not in the sun. Wait, no, 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 no. It's no. called a sunburn. No, I remember. The sun's still out at night. Let's break it down. There's still the sun's out at night. We're on the other side of the earth. But there's still sun. 
How do you think that we the can presence see? of the sun? We can feel the heat. <gasps> the sun. What, what gives you sunburn? The heat of the sun. That's so wrong. Wait, the wait. heat is not what gives it. The rays of the sun. Because it's hot. No. 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 <laughs> I don't know about sunburn. No. No. Wait, wait. What is it? No. It depends on how sensitive you are, but there's definitely still UAV radiation occurring. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's still UAV radiation occurring at hey, night. Hey, UAV is a is a, a score streak you get in a video game. It's UV, UV rays. A UAV shows people on your mini map, okay? It's UV rays, first off. And the rays at night are probably one or two. Okay. Blistering hot July in the middle of the day on a beach? Relax. That's sunburn. Relax. The sun's still out in the forest. The sun's still out. A couple f***ing leaves are not going to block you from the sun. You have a better chance of dying from a vending machine than you do getting a sunburn at night okay, in but a you, forest. That was just one example. I'm saying, say it's daylight when you're running through the forest. You can still get a sunburn. Yes or no? Just yes or no? Yes or no? You're yeah, 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 yeah. Yes or no? Sure. If it okay. has to be yes or okay. no. Okay. Are there bees in the forest? Depends on where you're at. Oh. So I could get two things, right, that were in the other would you rather, and then I could step on needles, snakes, shrubs, wood. Ants, holes, spiders, <laughs> porcupines. <laughs> your your <laughs> thought a porcupine. <laughs> Wait, how'd you say that? Porcupine. It's not. It's not a porcupine. <laughs> how do you spell porcupine? You don't know neither <laughs> do I. But it's definitely not P O R K I E. I'm from the south, bro. That's how we say it. Porcupine. <laughs> porcupine. You, do you realize you, you do realize that I won the would you rather? Okay. You, because all this shit that can happen with the bee sting in the sun can happen in the forest. Name a single person that's got a sunburn at night. Why are you talking Just about say, night? You didn't say you were running through the forest at night. You're the one that said you can still get a sunburn at night. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> I don't know why I said I, I, I lose my mind. Okay, you think sunburns come from mini maps in Call of Duty, okay? And you also think there's porcupines in this forest along with, like, you just mixed every ecosystem. Snakes, porcupines, did you say wolverines? No. I think you said wolverines. I'm the X-Men. Okay, okay, wolverine's a real animal. Did you know that? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure you knew that? If you were to tell me to draw one, I could I couldn't. I don't give a shit about stuff like that. Ask me a CPM. Ask me how to make a good thumbnail. Ask me how to, uh, that's what I know to do. Tell a good story. You? What do I gain in my life from drawing a wolverine, dog? You'd be in agonizing pain if you had a sunburn, let alone the bee stings, let alone. And knowing you and your, and your body, you're allergic to bees. <laughs> so you would be, you would be absolutely <gasps> No, if I was allergic, I would change my answer. Actually, I wouldn't. Actually, maybe I would. <laughs> because that's imminent death. The other one's possibility of death. I want you to think about this. You pinched something too hard in your back today, lifting that's, that's, weight. That's personal. <laughs> lifting weight. It's personal. And you were in agony. I was in an agony. I pushed through the workout. Oh, I lifted dumbbells. Oh, you left. I know. I lifted dumbbells. Oh, I, lift, I lifted an easy bar. But you stopped this part. You went and rolled. You on told it. me to. <gasps> Holy shit! I told you to put pressure on the bar. And I did. And then you said, "Yeah, you should probably stop." You should go roll out. <laughs> Would you be willing to bet your soul on that? I don't have one. <laughs> you're so you're. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're you're really picking running through a forest barefoot. Or no, you're not picking that. Yeah, so I meant to say, you're really not going to pick that sunburn. I'm talking... <laughs> say a cohesive two. sentence. You're not going to pick running through a forest barefoot. <laughs> but am I dying? <laughs> am I having a stroke? <laughs> what is going on? It's, I, I smell toast. <laughs> you're picking a sunburn with bee stings. Yes. What? <laughs> I can't talk. You're picking a sunburn with bee stings. Yes. And you've never experienced a bee sting. I've never ran through a forest either, dumbass. And you've never experienced... I've done both, and I'm telling you. You ran through a forest barefoot? Not barefoot. I had shoes on. So you haven't experienced it? So don't ever get that whole thing again. <laughs> the kick. You, know, you, you know that I've, I, I won the would you rather. You, no, you, you picked the stupid one. No, you didn't. Because everything that can happen to you with a sunburn sting mark... <laughs> anything, anything that can happen to you with a sunburn... Anything that can happen to you with a sunburn and bee stings can happen to you in the forest and more. No. All right, bro. I don't want bro, to. Bro, you're not getting a sunburn in the forest. Yes, you can. All right. You're running for a minute. Did we get. Are we on the sun? Oh, that's it? You asked the time and I said a minute. Oh, so I'm just running for a minute straight? Yes. Oh. <laughs>
I think hey, I... to hell with feet and stings. We didn't do it last week. Let's help some people out. Oh. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Hello, Simon. Hello. Of <laughs> <laughs> like gurgle. He that, was like, shit, he said, that shit tasted like Play Doh and chocolate milk. And the fact that you haven't consumed any. Oh, there's white spit. There's white spit. There's white spit. Get it out. What are you going to do with that shirt when you're done? What are you going to do with that shirt tonight? Oh, tonight? There's snot on it. There's spit on it. There's tears on it. And there's probably spotless monkey hair. Well, you're so ex you're so obsessed with my spotless beaver. No, no. If you showed me a hairless bison, <laughs> it'd be a solo act. It'd be a solo act. You've seen my spotless monkey. No, I haven't. Still, we gotta we gotta help people. Sign. All right. All right. The You Should Know podcast. This episode is brought to you by Joy Mode. Valentine's Day is around the corner, and you need to be ready when Cupid strikes with our friends. At Joy Mode. Hey, whether you're looking to get lucky or spice up those intimate moments with your partner, Joy Mode Sexual Performance Booster is an all-natural and science-backed solution to every man's greatest fear, releasing the love too soon. This Valentine's Day, move on from sketchy gas station erection pills oh. and treat yourself to a supplement you can actually trust with no <laughs> prescription needed. I like that. Simply mix Joy Mode with six to eight ounces of water 45 minutes before sexual activity Woo! and watch the love unfold literally. Hey, date night will never be the same when you go to usejoymode.com for 20% off with code YSK. That's 20% off and free shipping with code YSK at use J O Y M O D E that. Damn. Elevate your confidence and performance in the bedroom because the best gift that you can give her this Valentine's Day is Joy Mode itself. Joy Mode sexual performance booster is like pre-workout, but for sex. Woo! Designed to support erection quality, firmness, and sex drive. Boing. It contains clinically supported doses of arginine nitrate, L-citrulline, Panex ginseng, and vitamin C. Hey, the great thing about it, it's small enough to get into your wallate and take with you on the go. It's the perfect date night companion. So go to usejoymode.com and get 20% off with code YSK at checkout. That's 20% off and free shipping with code YSK at use J O Y M O D E dot com. Be at your best when love is in the air with Joy Mode. Now on. To the rest of the episode. The you should know podcast. I have this one. I think you're gonna love it. It is so short and so to the point. That's like me. Hey, Doctor P. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Doctor P. Hello. I have this ex, and she wants. No. Say it in your accent. <laughs> hey, right. Hey, Doctor P. Hello. I have this ex, and she won't stop stalking me. <laughs> I've told her many times to stop stalking me. But she continues to stalk me. <laughs> what do I do? What? I can't. <laughs> what should I do? What should you do? She uh, stalks him. Yeah. She's no, I'm not continuing to I stalk him. I heard it. He's told her not to stalk him. Yeah. Take it away, Doc. Uh, how do you know she's stalking you? Oh, you think he's a double agent? <laughs> you think he likes it? Likes a little bit. He likes being okay. stalked. First of all, you can only get stock so much. Because, I'm not gonna lie, bro. You're starting to give me a little gaslight vibes. <gasps> I don't wanna put that on your jacket. I don't wanna put that on your varsity. But let me tell you something. If somebody. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> <your book part. laughs> let me tell you something. We've all been stocked before. We've all had that one person you didn't want to see what you're posting and doing, right? Say we're talking about Instagram. <laughs> Say we're talking about Instagram, right? Okay. Okay, we're talking about Instagram. Yeah. Now let's wrong. assume you're not famous and I have a big following and you can kind of control and you can see who's following or who's watching your stuff and th things like that. I don't know. You see that person's name pop up on who you, who viewed your story. You block that account, right? Oh, you found out they made burner accounts, right? You found out they made, however you figured out, 
You found out they made burner accounts. Guess what you can do, bro? When you block somebody, Instagram gives you the option of blocking any profile that is made under the same email. So anytime, even if that person makes a new account and titles it with no icon, right? You they, they can still get blocked from that. You wanna know how I know that? Because my ex-girlfriend, I was obsessed with her and I would stalk her. I had 16 Instagram. <laughs> no, I made three burner Instagram accounts. All under different names. One of them's name was Lila. Lila. Yeah. But I was I loved her and I was a kid. So I stalked her. But then she blocked any she hit the option where you can block any new user that's made under that same email. Right? So I couldn't see her on any of the burner accounts. Y don't turn you're, this on me. No, 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 you're the doctor. Yeah. But you're assuming it's from social media. I'm thinking she's like creeping behind his peach tree outside his house. Oh, well, if that's the He option. didn't say it was online stalking. I'm thinking she's quite literally watching his whole family eat dinner. Well, first of all, you start with the tier system. Your neighborhood crime watchers. You, call, you contact them and you let them know. Then if it gets to a point where you're actually scared or you like, this is getting out of hand, call the police. You can get a restraining order. It's, Local law enforcement. You can get a restraining order or whatever. Or you can tell friends. You can tell family. Handle it in a peaceful, legal matter. That would be that would be creepy, though, to think about it. Oh, right. Like, you're just chilling. You look outside, and you literally it's, see a person looking at you. Like that's what, is it that's an what, ex, though? Like, that's what you think is happening. But is it an ex? It is an ex. That's be kind of hot. I'm a little weird. You're a toxic doctor. No, I'm not toxic. Uh, it's not Peyton talking. It's Dr. P. You're not Lila? <laughs> Dr. P. You're it's not, not toxic? Oh, oh, not sorry, you're right, sorry. I'm saying, but like, if a girl wanted to be back in my life that bad, where she was following me around everywhere, but you so cute, Muffin. How would I give you a little extra sugar on your on your oatmeal? Muffin. Yeah. Stop tapping. <laughs> Stop tapping. Yeah, so, bro, okay. but, but I, at some point, bro, you just gotta, I'm assuming he's, uh, I'm not really sure if I trust him. You are. And what'd you do to her? What if to he make her go crazy. What if he didn't do anything? He did. But what if he didn't? You're right. He did. So what'd you do to her? What'd you <laughs> and do? And that was. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Dr. P. Woo! What a Woo! great episode. Episode 98 in the books. Thank you so much for coming back and chilling and vibing with us. We are two episodes away. From episode 100, a massive... Me you are tying your pants to the microphone. You are attaching the mic to your bison. <laughs> Buffalo County, hello. Two episodes away from a historic milestone, episode 100 of the You Should Know podcast. According to Uncle P, there's the biggest surprise. Yeah, I don't even know the surprise. You will know soon. You will know soon. I'll tell you before we record it. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll figure out next week. I'll know it. Won't tell it to you because then it won't be a surprise. But like Uncle P said... Oh, or was that only the code for the intro people? That's only the code for the intro so people. So it's a different code now. Different code now. Okay. Uh, get your good karma. Confuse the casuals with this code. If you're an intro person, leave a double comment. Leave a second comment with this one. Knowing you're the that realist. you're an intro and an outro person. You are the realist. You're the baddest. You're the realist. Get your good karma. This week's secret code is going to be YBK. Your yearbook kid. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I yearbook I kid, that. YBK, leave it in the comments, leave it on Instagram, leave it on Patreon, leave it anywhere you can see Colorado Vlog and many other things. Don't exit out of the video! <laughs> Don't exit out of the video. Colorado Vlog and many other things in the Patreon, in the description below. The Facebook, our actual Facebook, not any other ones, the real Facebook where you can get genuine, solid truths, not lies, no fabricated information is tagged below. Click that link that takes you to our page. That is ours, the real us. Any other account is not us. Real Facebook below. We absolutely love y'all. This is episode 98. Thank you for coming back. I want to mm -hmm. say something. Let's hear it, buddy. Uh, if you come to the Tampa Live show, mm -hmm. is that going to be after episode 100 or before? Oh, it's going to be fine. It's going to be, it's gonna be, gonna be two days before. Two days before. You're not going to know the secret. Like the biggest secret. Uh, not sub secret. Surprise. <laughs> secret. We're not giving them secrets. <laughs> Big, you're not going to know the surprise of the live show, but I think we should give them hints to what we're doing after episode 100 with those. We should say it on stage. That'd be sick. Hey, yeah. You heard it here first. So another another Tampa Uncle show. P exclusive. And if you're not coming to Tampa, but that just tickled your little raisin and you want to come, there's about 11 tickets left. I'd click that link also in the description. Immediately try to secure oh, your ticket for Tampa. 
Um, we're working on the after party, if there will be one. Yes, we, uh, it has been a roller coaster up and down, but you already know Koala Club, you'll know first, everyone else you'll know and second. That's a perk. Let me tell you this, if there's not an official after party, we'll just tell y'all what club we're going to. Facts. But we, but can't, we can't hook y'all up with like free admission or whatever. If there's not, we still, we're still working on after party, but just saying if there's not, we'll just put on my Instagram or in his Instagram store what club we're going to. We'll, we'll hang out with y'all. It's been ups and downs. Tampa apparently is popping on Saturdays, which I would assume. But, yeah. but in the after party... For right now is going to be in the city of Tampa, not Clearwater. Yes, it's going yes. to be in the city of Tampa. Yes. All right. We absolutely love y'all. We'll see you. One out of two Koala Bears. Don't make it home to Christmas. And we'll see you Hello. next time. Let's go to that extended Hello? episode. Can we, why are your toes curled? Hello. Oh. <laughs>